Hello everyone, good afternoon, Master 974 here again today. Welcome to another Half-Life 2 beta chapter playthrough. Not much of a chapter playthrough this time around because um, the subject matter is Kraken base and there wasn't much in terms of actual gameplay or anything. It was just like concept design for Kraken base because it was actually uh, removed fairly early on in Half-Life 2's development. So I guess the first map we're going to play is Deep 01011 and this is going to be a pretty big map and I don't think I'm going to cover everything there is but as you see we've got a Barney and Adele just right here Barney and a trench coat it looks like um, So yeah Kraken Base is supposed to be an underwater facility and it's supposed to be where uh, we're supposed to meet with Mossman uh, Helena or Elena Mossman whichever one you want to see I think both should be perfectly accurate and I cannot go through this doorway for some reason that is uh, awkward as hell and now I'm not going to be able to get out the doorway so obviously I think the player size and all that would have been different back then if uh, you can't go through those doors properly um, so yeah these are supposed to be portholes so you can look out to the sea but you just don't see anything you just see blackness so that gives rise to the theory that uh, it wasn't actually finished it wasn't actually made you know the outside details and of course with all these pipes as well you kind of see they're not really like connected properly so there's that as well um, nothing down here so it's just going to be like a tour of walk around like a literal walkthrough because there's just nothing to show here conscripts so uh, one of the things as well is if you find no clip out of this area then you can actually see bits of level geometry that you cannot actually get to normally so I'll do that now actually so if I no clip out of here you see this bit up here so there's a door that's here but that goes to nothing um, if you go down this way then you go to what seems to be like a porthole or something so you can go down there and go out to the sea but um, obviously that wasn't ever implemented and there's a whole corridor in that again the pipes which are all laid out here but then you don't ever go down this way because there's no you know level geometry that connects this to where we just were and the same thing up here you got this u-shape bend i guess you could say and it's just you can't access it without no clipping of course so there's that so yeah let's get to the interesting bit that's going down this way so if we head down through here then we end up to where we would have arrived in kraken base via the sub so this follows on from borealis and i guess it's fair to say that uh kraken base was supposed to be where kleiner wanted us to go at the start of the game during the whole teleportation accident but then the whole teleportation accident happens and so we don't actually end up going to Kraken base but um, after Borealis or Hyperborea whatever you want to call it uh, we'd get into the sub with Adele and we'd arrive here at Kraken base and realize that the facility has been um, breached attacked by the combine and so now it's down to Freeman to uh, you know try and fight the combine and figure out what's going on that was a little loud. Adele and conscripts. Um, and so it's fair. It's, it's one thing I wanted to say as well. Um, there is a playable Kraken base map with actual like gameplay elements in an old version of Dark Interval. However, it doesn't seem like that build is available to download and play because I definitely would have played that map in this video if it was available but it wasn't so uh, I'm only going to cover the Half-Life 2 2001 maps I don't think there's anything left to show other than you know this area I would have note clipped into I think um, you see that the red pipes and the way the pipes look I think it's supposed to show that it's the same area but it isn't so then you get this curve that goes down one way and then uh, you can go on from there so that's what I wanted to show in this so quite an extensive map for Half-Life 2 beta um, just giving you the sort of style guide of what Kraken base would look like so we can go to a prototype map 
called Proto Deep 002B. Now I think there is another map called just Proto Deep 002, but um, I it's not in the Half-Life 2 2001 compiled maps list. But it's going to be pretty much the same sort of thing. It's just walk around, and you can see everything that's going on: fire extinguisher, toilet, all that. Alex looking at a window. Of course, there's going to be nothing outside the window because it was obviously never finished. So you just see the the void, I guess, the blackness. Contaminated area, huh? So it's going to be radioactive, I guess. Let's head down this way. Level two. And of course it's radioactive, but you know, radiation doesn't affect us. And it's this area again, the sub. So, as you can see, there's no other ways to go. So the sub would be like here, and we'd exit, go out this way, probably. But um, I guess this is what Kraken Base would look like in pristine condition. Of course, as I said, I think the Combine was supposed to attack. So it goes without saying it probably should be a little bit worse for wear than what we see but you know this was just mapping out the concept I guess and then it was just cut axed out of the game and then we have to resort to you know Half-Life leak stuff to be able to actually see what this was supposed to look like so again one of these sort of like vertical shaft areas um, one of the things that would be nice to see as well is well, if this does end up getting mapped out then how do you uh, deal with the portholes that actually look at level geometry you know because I'm sure some of these portholes you look out of them and then you curve around to a point so you should be able to see like the level geometry so like here for instance you look at that portal and then we curve around and then further down we curve around again so we should be able to see like the level geometry so how would that work that would be nice to see but of course you know you can get away with it by just showing nothing on the other side so that's pretty much the extent of this map I think so yeah not much to show in terms of Kraken base I mean I can't really show you anything else because this is all there is to it um, you're supposed to go here at the start of the game with the teleportation accident so you don't end up going here you come later after Borealis uh, Mossman was supposed to be here running the base and I guess Mossman was supposed to still serve as the double agent character that sort of I guess initiates the attack on the base so then we have to like fight our way through up and out the base to I don't know would it be weather control after this possibly but yeah I think that's all there is to show so um, with all that being said and done guys I think that's where I'm going to end the video there's not much to say about Kraken base because there isn't that much to it and there was a map in Dark Interval that I would have loved to have played, but uh, that build of Dark Interval is not available for the public to play at the moment. So that's why uh, I'm not including it here. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed the commentary and I'll see you for whatever I decide to do next. So, of course, peace out, take care out there and see you next time.